Hi, it's Sandy Wiley. Seasonal Affect Disorder. It's real. And I also have it. <laughs> it's not just at Christmas time. It's the whole bloody <laughs> season. <laughs> the winter season. Especially here in the Northeast. I live in Boston. Beantown. Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah. Where at this time of year in December, it gets dark very early. Like the sun goes down at like four o'clock. By 4.30 it's pitch black. I wake up at four o'clock every morning. I do. And so does my husband. When I wake up, it's pitch black. So, I wake up in the dark, and it gets dark, what, less than 12 hours later. I mean, that's enough to really make someone down. And it's cold. It's very, very cold. I'm a person that loves the sunshine. And there's much less sun. That's that vitamin D that's essential for health that we're lacking in the winter. The vitamin D. That's been proven. No sunlight. Less sunlight. I mean, there's some sunlight, right? But less and less sunlight as compared to the summer, right? And cold. The coldness. I hate the cold climate. I mean, I'm in the state of Massachusetts because... I was born here, my husband grew up here, I met my husband here, and both of my children live here. Now, if I didn't have any family, I would not be in Massachusetts, because I hate Massachusetts. I'd probably be somewhere in Florida, okay? <laughs> <laughs> or the islands. If Florida, if I wanted to stay in the States, or the islands, because... I like it where it's warm all year round. I don't care if I ever see a drop of snow. But the cold, the extreme cold, the extreme darkness, the lack of daylight, the lack of sunshine alone, the lack of that vitamin C, uh, vitamin D, sorry, <laughs> vitamin D. That adds, a, that adds for me. I'm now, I'm just talking about it. You can look up seasonal effect disorder yourself and see what the symptoms are. I'm just going to tell you from my perspective what they are. When it's that dark and that cold, right? Who wants to get out of bed? You become more tired. You, you lack the energy. At least I do. You lack energy. I mean, if it's bright out and it's warm out, you want to get outside. I mean, that's, that's how I am. But when it's dark and freezing, frigid cold, and it's dark at 4.30 in the afternoon, you know, all I want to do is hunker down on my couch and drink my martinis. <laughs> See, it's because, for me, it does really affect my depression, the change of seasons. And I'm only going to speak for myself because I'm an expert on me, right? <laughs> I can't be an expert on everyone else, or I can't even be an expert on a certain disorder. I can only tell you how I, my experience of it is. And my experience is I don't want to socialize. I don't want to go out. Um, I'm really, I want to just stay in bed, you know, where it's warm and pull those covers up over my head. I'm tired all the time. Um, I feel, I really feel down much more than the summer because it's so dark, so long, and it's so cold. And just that darkness and coldness and the lack of, you know, being outside, right? If you don't go outside as much, then you don't get exercise as much. I mean, sure, you can exercise in the house, but you're more active in the warmer um, weather, in the warmer climate. Much more active, right? Going out more, doing more things. I mean, in the summer, I go um, kayaking. I love kayaking. I go to the beach. I take hikes. I don't take hikes in the winter because guess what? 
I hate the freezing cold. And it's like, even if I have a winter coat on and everything, it's like, oh, I want to get inside. I want to get inside. It's cold out here. I love to go out in the woods. I love hiking. I love nature. But when everything is covered in ice and snow and it's freezing cold and it's dark, I mean, I don't enjoy going out. So I kind of like act like a beer, okay? I kind of hibernate. And maybe that works really well for the beers, right? But you know what it does for me? It makes me gain weight. Yes. And gaining weight for me makes me very depressed. Now, why do I gain weight? Because um, I'm stuck in the house. It's pitch black at 430. I'm not going out. I'm not getting sunlight. I'm not out there being active, which will stimulate, you know, the good, the, the good hormones, the oxytocins and all that kind of things. And if I'm stuck at home, what am I going to do? I'm going to the refrigerator, right? I'm going to eat that, you know, that extra uh, piece of cake. I'm going to have that extra martini, right? Because I'm stuck. I'm stuck indoors. What am I going to do? So a lot of people feel like this. They feel, they feel, you know, stuck indoors. So what is there? There's the couch. There's the TV. My soaps, right? And then there's the refrigerator where there's food and booze. And, <laughs> and that just leads to a downward spiral, you know, of gaining more weight, drinking more alcohol, not going out, not socializing, right? Where, you know, when it's, when you go outside uh, in the warm weather and you see people, it kind of like pick, picks your spirits up, right? But, you know, everyone's tucked inside their homes now in the cold weather. You don't see people out so much. You don't see um, people biking or people walking. There's always those people that walk the dogs, right? Because they have to in all kinds of weather. I have a cat, a black cat <laughs> named Anchor. So I don't have to walk no dog. But, oh, I would hate to do that. Can you imagine people? I'm not... Like, I like dogs. I grew up with pu a French poodles, puppies, okay? Renee and Peppy, French poodles. So I'm not putting anyone down who has dogs. Says, I like dogs too, but you have to go out in the cold and the dark and the rain and the snow. You know, and it's just like, ugh. And then I hate the snow. Personally, my, I mean, it's pretty coming down, right? It's all white and you look out your window. Isn't it nice? And then guess what happens to the snow? The white, pristine, virgin snow gets all black. That's what happens after a couple of days. And slush. And then ice, right? And who wants to? I slide all over the place. I fall down on my ass. Um, it's dangerous driving. And I hate driving in the dark anyway. How many people hate driving in the dark at night? I hate it, okay? I don't even like driving in the day. But at 4.30, it's pitch black out. So you got to drive, I mean, to go anywhere. And it's just all of that slush. I mean, it's pretty coming down, but then that's it. Once it's down, it's a, just a, a pile of, and dr try driving around it, okay? People put those cones out and everything. So like, oh, it's a mess, right? Snow banks, I can't park anywhere on the street because there's snow banks and people put their cones out. And then I have enough trouble driving when there's no snow banks. Can you imagine how nerve-wracking it is? I starting to have panic attacks because I'm driving and there's a snow bank to my left. There's a snow bank to my right because people just push. They shovel the snow from their sidewalk and yard, shovel it out on the street. So there's snow banks to the left, snow banks to the right. So what room is there? Popped cars. You know, how am I going to get around all these snow banks? You know, so it's like, oh, it's nerve wracking. So how do you get out of it? You know how you can get out of seasonal effect disorder? You go take a winter vacation. Get yourself to the Bahamas. Get yourself to Bermuda. Go to Aruba. Go to Mexico. Go to Hawaii. Just go where there's someplace, go to Florida. <laughs> go where there's someplace nice and warm, where there's lots and lots of sunlight. That's how you, it, it'll boost you, you know? It, 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 just that, you know, getting, taking yourself out 
of that, you know, frigid, dark, cold environment. I don't think us people, except for when we were the um, back in the cavemen days, okay, maybe in them days, okay, when people had hair all over their bodies and and carry big slugs like Fred Flintstone, you know, and Barney Rubble. <laughs> maybe in those days, they were happy living in dark caves and but not these days, you know, people have sunroofs on there. That's another thing to do, you know, get a sunroof or something. Yeah, um, high ceilings and sunroofs and lots of windows, you know, I don't have that. I don't have the money for that kind of thing. I have a small ranch house. <laughs> but I think, yeah, if you can take yourself out of that environment. Now, let's say, well, gee, you know, Sandy, I don't have the kind of money to go on a vacation. I wish I did. If I did, I'd love to get the hell out of here. What do you do then, you know? What do you do then when it's dark all day and it's freezing cold? Oh. And it just, you don't feel like doing anything because you feel lethargic, you know? I don't know, maybe plan a vacation. If you don't have the money to plan a vacation for later on, what can you do? It's really hard to get motivated for me in the winter. It's very hard, you know. I just don't have the motivation like I do in the summer, in the warmer weather. Where, you know, it's that lack of vitamin D. It's that lack of sunshine. It's that, you know, always, you know, oppressively dark, oppressively cold. And you feel lethargic. You don't feel like doing anything. You just want to go in bed and roll the covers over your head. But how do you get out of that? How do you motiv motivate yourself? Well, go for a walk. <laughs> go for a walk when the sun is out, before it gets dark. Go for a walk. But it's hard because it's freezing, you know? It's hard for me to, you know, to get out in that sun when I'm really, really, you know, even with the winter coat and everything. When I'm really cold, but you got to get outside and get some sun, vitamin D. You got to get that sun sunlight. You have to. You have to get out at least once a day into, if it's sunny out, into that sun. I mean, before it starts getting dark, you got to just make yourself just even a short walk, even like a 15 minute walk out in that sun. Just gaze up at the sun and just get some of that warmth. You know, it, it'll do you wonders, you know. Try to just do a little errand, you know. I always try to do little errands. Um, just to get you out of the house. Say, oh, what do I need? Oh, I think I need some shampoo. So I'll get in my car and I'll buy some shampoo. Something like a little baby steps like that. Just to get you out, you know. Just to get you out of your own four walls, you know. What motivates you to get out of bed? Well, maybe you got a job. <laughs> I gotta get to work but it's hard it's hard and I heard a lot of people get much more depressed during um, this time of year much much more do you feel that way I mean I don't know about the people who live out like you know in California or Florida you know in the warm warmer states and warmer climates I don't know maybe you can you know join the conversation tell me if you were from like the south or something or you know the West Coast, where it's warm and, it, you know, do you get seasonal effect depression? I mean, do you get, do you feel that? Or is it only the people in the North East, like me, the people in New England, <laughs> the people in Massachusetts that feel that seasonal effect disorder? I feel that every time, every time, every time around this time of year, it's just like, it's just so, you know, oh my God, it's going to get dark. It's already like, it's only four o'clock and the sun's down. It's like, I don't even see the sun. Some days I don't even see the sun. Like we're, hello, Mr. Sun, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, shine your light on me. Okay, this is not karaoke. <laughs> so I'm not going to go there. But that's how it feels sometimes. It feels like I wake up in the dark all day. I'm looking, okay, where's the sun like today? I don't think I saw the sun. Maybe it came out for a little while, but I don't remember, you know. When I was out, it was gray, 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 gray. It's gray right now. And it's going to go from gray to black, dark, pitch dark. And it's like, I just want to get in my gym. Did you ever feel like that? You know, you come home from work, maybe you come home from work early at four or whatever, and it's already dark. 
you want to get in your jammies. How many people want to get in their jammies? Because it's already dark. You know, I don't feel like going out. I don't feel like socializing. It's dark. It's cold. You know, when it's cold, I just want to get into my jammies, pull that blanket up, and just be a couch potato. You know, just put that telly on and just, and it's depressing. People, I don't think people socialize. Because picture the summer, okay? What do you think of summer? Barbecues, right? Everyone's doing barbecues. Oh, just the waff of that. Oh, my God. The steaks on the grill. Mm -hmm, right? You smell them. You smell them in your neighbor's yard. Everyone's, like, cooking out, having their friends over, drinking beers, right? And sports. The outdoor sports. Hey, Red Sox! You know, sweet Caroline. Bop, bop, bop. You're going out to the ball games, right? You don't do that in the winter, do you? You don't go out to the ball games. What about outdoor concerts? See all the things that you don't do in this, this season, right? All that stuff, you know? All that stuff isn't available, you know? So, yeah, well, you can go to, you know, hockey games. You know, <laughs> like that. <laughs> but just going out and getting in the car in the cold and then waiting for the car to heat up. Oh, that's another thing, right? It's freezing ice cold. It's below zero, okay? It's freezing. You turn your car on. You put the heat on. It's like, you got to wait for it to warm. But I mean, some of you guys start their car and, you know, get it warm before you even get in. I don't do that. You know, I don't do it. Why? I don't know. I'm afraid someone will steal my car, but you can still have the, the 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 car doors locked and you know have the engine go. I mean, you know, press the button and have it warm up or something like that. I don't know. Get heated seats. But you know, you just don't feel like going out. You know, you don't. People don't get together like they used to anymore, especially since COVID. And that's got to be you know another thing that impacts it. COVID was really horrible. It was horrible for me. I couldn't see my son for months on end. My handicapped son. I couldn't see him. And a lot of horrible things were happening to him at that time. So imagine I couldn't see him on Christmas. And that, that, that was just horrible, 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 horrible. I mean, that on not seeing him and, and the stuff that happened to him, being severely beaten and not being able not being able to go to him, knowing that what I know now, I didn't know then, and all this kind of thing. It's just horrible. It, and there's a lot of reminders of this type of year of people that aren't in your life, right? You lost a parent. You lost your mom recently. You lost your dad. Maybe you lost a sibling or a best friend, someone who were very close to, and God forbid, maybe it was a child. Maybe it was your child. So, you know, this time of year makes it all the more hotter it makes it it just adds insult to injury when you, if you have lost someone in this time of year it even makes it worse i i mean i'm sure and even if they you didn't lose a person recently or even if they died during the summer or another season just this time of year makes you think of them more doesn't it for you if you I mean, I think of my dad more this time of year. Um, yeah, I remember the last Christmas because he died in February and I remember December, the last Christmas with him. I mean, you see, you start thinking things like that. And when you start thinking things like that, it even adds more to the pain that you're already in. So it's that constant fatigue and tiredness and feeling worn down and the lack of sunlight and the lack of socialization because people are in their homes more like the bears are hibernating. They're not having the cookouts. They're not having the barbecues. They're not going to the Red Sox game, right? And that just adds to it more. So just try to get out there. When you see a little ray of sun, run out and just grasp it. Even for like five or ten minutes, just take it in. Run out and do an errand. Get out of the house, even for 10 or 15 minutes. Go get, you know, I don't know. Go get a steak and, and do a barbecue inside or something. I don't know. 
just get out get a little sun what little you can you know um put videos on of um barbados <laughs> antigua yeah watch watch videos like that watch videos of the beach and you know the sun and the palm trees just watch that you know sometimes that helps even though <laughs> you're not there but just seeing it you know watching it like that sometimes i do that and that will help but if you have any ideas on how you you know combat seasonal effect disorder and what you do please um, share them with me i always want you to share with me so then you help me and we talk about it we have an ongoing open discussion about it and we can both learn a lot about it because it affects a lot of people um I'm not sure about how people in the warmer climates. I'd love to hear from you if you're from a warmer climate and you still, and you know, I, I'd like to hear from people from all around the world. You know, drop just right now. If you're watching this video, tell me where where you're from. Just just tell me. Say Georgia. Just say Texas, um, Barbados, Mexico, <laughs> Canada. Just it only take a second. Just like type in where you're from. Okay. Even if you don't want to comment about how, you know, if you have seasonal affect disorder, how that affects you. Just let me know where you're from. Just curious, you know. Boston Mass right here. Okay, so I hope you go out and try to just do a little errand. Just get a, a little of that sunlight. Grasp it while you can. Watch those videos of the beach. <laughs> and um, grab a steak and make a barbecue in your kitchen. Pretend, you know, grab some beers and... Have a barbecue inside. <laughs> Until next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>